it is 10 18 a.m i think it's saturday or sunday it's saturday may 18th in about 40 minutes i'll be playing ezra chambers who's fm i'll be black so this will be a pretty quick prep session because i'll have to start walking over to the club in maybe 20 30 minutes um so i began prepping a little i don't know what what entirely to expect. Um, if we go to just the Explorer, um, I know his chess.com account and I know some of his like recent tournament games. Let me go and search him real quick. Chambers. <clears throat> the problem is that he plays a lot of different things. Okay, I know what to expect E4. Wait a minute, did I click the wrong thing? Prepare against white. Yeah, so I know to expect e4. I'm planning to play e5. Most likely knight f3. And then he's played all these moves. I mean, knight c3, knight f6. He's played all these different things. So, I mean, he could play a Spanish too. I was looking at his chess.com games. Spanish is most likely, so. Let's go back to chess base and let's take a look at some stuff. Um, yeah, so bishop b5. Let's do a quick review in this line. Castle, castle, d3, d6, bishop g5, knight e7. So this is playable. I think takes, takes, knight h4 is main line. I usually play knight g6 here. Ah, but c6. Okay, I'll leave stockfish running. Okay, let's just look at the main line. C6, bishop, c4, oh, d5 right away. Bishop b3. And then knight g6. Wait, how does that work? Knight g6. Oh, because I can take on c3. Interesting. Knight f5. So a5, okay, threatening bishop takes c3 and a4. So let's say white plays a4. Takes, takes, 97. I mean, this looks very comfortable for black. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on any given variation. I just want to do kind of uh, an overview of my e4, e5 repertoire. So that was four knights. Um, he could play d4 here. I don't think I'm too scared of d4. It's also looking at a3. a3 takes takes. Let's look at this line. This he could be potentially tricky. Actually, surprised there's not more games here. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is just equal. A queen d6. Okay, let's look at f6, d4. Ship g4 I've never seen before. Knight takes c3, b takes c3, bishop e6. Oh, this looks interesting. Queen d7. So, so I defend, I take, and then I gamut a pawn. Takes, and then casting queenside. Wow. That's fascinating. I like it. Odds are white won't take. I mean, queen d3, we take. It's kind of just equal. But at least it's slightly imbalanced. A bit ahead in development. Okay. Um, fair enough. Let's go back. I want to look at Spanish. Because, I mean, this is maybe the most challenging variation out of everything. And there's a lot of options that he can play here. So let's go to Opening Explorer. Um... So bishop b5, and just follow his games. Yeah, all main line. Wait, has he played d3 at all? Oh, he's played d3 three times. So d3 is a move I should look at. Promote. 
All right, so b5. Wait, let's start with rook e1, more likely. b5 here. I'll play a martial move order, because he plays anti-martial. He's played a4 mostly. I think there is a game, um, Switch, Akshat, Chandra, Fabiano, Caruana from the U.S. Championships. It was the last game of the 2016 U.S. Championships where Fabiano won. Um, oh, slightly different? Slightly different. But maybe it'll transpose. Yeah, this should transpose. So, b4. Oh, he played d4 once, also a5. All right, let's go back to chess base. Um, so rook e1, b5, here, here, here. So b4. So if he plays d4, this should transpose to the, the Caruana game. After which Akshat took. Just put in the few moves of this game. Could even be here in the database. With knight d2. Nice move, bishop c5. Here we go. I'm just trying to understand this position. <laughs> H6, prophylaxis. And what if knight c4 immediately? Oh, we win the pawn. Okay. So white's a little bit tied down. Bishop went to b7. Hmm. Yeah, I like this uh, this setup for black. Queen defends the pawn in a6. Yeah, very smooth. That was some very nice positional play. I feel like the way Carwana played, it requires a lot of experience to know where the pieces should be placed. Like starting with bishop c5, bishop b7, queen d6. Okay, and if he plays a5 here, remember there's some Aronian, like Marshall Gambit type game, like d5 here, which maybe I would go into, because I don't think he would be super prepared. Yeah, d5 here. An idea is, okay, I'll have Stockfish running. Is Aronian Ponomaryev? Probably. So takes. Oh, e4. Oh, yeah, this game. Takes, takes. And it's just such a messy position. Let's imagine queen takes f3. And bishop g4, and black gets compensation. Queen e3. Rook e8 would be nice. So Ponomaria played d3. Takes g2. Ah, yeah, this rook b8, rook b5 idea. It's really interesting. Whoa, 98. Some crazy chess. Bishop e6, maybe more intuitive. But what happens after it takes? Oh, that file's open. And then rook b5 is still coming. Interesting. And bishop takes a6. Bishop d5, aha. Uh -huh. Knight d2. Okay, looks playable. c6 is weak. Okay, I'm running short on time. There's one more game I want to look at. I think it was uh, Ivanchuk, so. Switch here. Ivanchuk, oops. Or was it, yeah, Ivanchuk. Was he so Spanish? Yeah, the told you so. 
um, with h3. So actually, let's go back to Explorer, because I want to see his games with h3. It should be 7. Oh, he played d3, d5. Okay, takes, takes, six. Okay. d3. Okay, this is not relevant. This black plays d5. Let's go back to chess base. So, yeah, this is another anti martial variation. d3, d5. Takes, takes, knight d2. What's the point of takes, takes, takes? Queen d6. Rookie one. Interesting. And C five is interesting. That's some nice compensation. But definitely a fight. Rook A E eight. Played a hundred oh no. But okay, there's some transpositions. Rook eight e eight. Ninety four. Yeah, it seems nice. Ideas maybe c four or f five or both. Okay. I'd be fine with that. So Ivanchuk played knight d two here. And then amazing move, queen d seven. Takes. Takes. Okay, let's copy this game in. Yeah, such an amazing game. Knight f4, and then knight takes g2, with idea of a5, double idea. And if you leave the computer running for long enough, I think white's just lost. Not likely he'll go into this, but it's useful to review. Be, be somewhat inspired. So anything else to look at? I mean... Look at. Actually, don't know. And a3, I was looking at this line. Bishop b5 takes queen e2, queen d6. Wait, what happens after it takes knight e5? I know there's a trap here, like takes, takes, 95. I can't take on, or can I take on d4? Oh, no, I can't take on d4 because queen h5 works for white. Queen e6. What's the point of queen e6? Just develop the bishop. And if takes. Okay. B takes C6. And then F3 comes. I have to be careful here. Sometimes you can't trust the initial evaluation of stockfish. Castling, castling. Trying to judge the position too. I mean, this looks pleasant for black. Like nice pawns, potential pawn storm. Okay. And Scotch again. How can he trick me in this line? I played c3. What if he castles here? I just d6. Huh. So I usually play knight of six, but d6 actually looks very logical. c3. Bishop g4. Hmm. Queen b3. So this is some line. Wow, I've never studied this before. This is crazy. Takes. It's somehow good for black, I guess. Knight e5. Looks attractive.
computer doesn't like it. Ah, because he takes and defends a pawn. Um, so knight of six, also natural. Yeah, I, I would be okay with this. Like white's king is probably weaker than black's king. Uh, one more variation, Spanish with d3. So bishop b5, oops, so bishop b5 right away. So in this position, d3, because I had a game in this not too long ago. And what happened? I just want some simple line to play. I'm looking at his uh, explorer. So d3, b5. Let's look at this game. Oh, a3. Very tricky. So d6, a3. <sighs> Castling. Knight c3. I mean, probably the best approach is just to stick with main line. And knight f5 was played in this game. And bishop g4, if h3. Oh, then I take and knight d4, okay. So bishop e3, probably. And still knight d4, oh wow. Knight d4 takes, takes knight d5, and c5, huh. It actually looks fine. I mean, a little bit double-edged. Stockfish is beginning to like white. Knight d7. I don't know how much I can trust Stockfish, but let's play through the line. Knight d7. Still, ideas later, playing c5. And what is this position? So we just trade everything. C5 immediately? Ah, uh, so what? what's the point of rook ac8? a4? Ah, knight c4. I don't understand. Oh, the, so bishop d5, it doesn't hit the rook, I guess. Interesting. Takes. Okay. So rook a, b8 possible. Okay, it'll be a fight. All right, um, I'm ending it here. I have to go and get to the game. Thanks, guys, for watching. Again, I'll leave links on the in the video description. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.